We have Katie in studio. She wrote to us about her mum uh, ahead of Mother's Day. So she's been diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've heard of this. Is this where you, um, yeah, the you, muscles the deteriorate? Muscles. Is that what happens? Yeah. Horrible. Also, her partner left her. Seven weeks ago, he said, I'm going back to work in Fiji for four weeks. I've got a, a temporary job. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we haven't heard from him since. Oh, your poor mum. Yeah. God, so not only is she going through this terrible life experience, this illness, yeah. the person that is supposed to be there for her to lean on in life mm. takes off to Fiji and never heard from again. Exactly. And that he's left her in a lot of debt as a result. Yeah, he's left behind a lot of debt, um, as well as a car that um, is in his name, but that's the only car they have. Yeah. And there's yeah, debt associated with that as well. So, so it's just it, a mess. But the worst part about that is then she pays off his car. It's in his name. He can come back and just take that car. Exactly. We've got one of our guys at the front of your mum's place now. We've got a couple of little surprises for her. Uh, Let's get Mitch up. Mitch, you there? Hey, morning, guys. Yeah, I'm out the front of Laura's house. Go on, Bang on the door there, Mitch. (laughs) Greet her when she opens the door and then put the phone onto her for us. Hey, Laura. My name's Mitch. I'm from the Cloud Jackie Ocean. How are you? Tell her to open the the crim safe door there. (laughs) She's got a crim safe there. She won't open the screen door. clever (laughs) woman. Okay, put the mother on. Hello. Hi hey, there. Laura. It's Kyle and Jackie. Laura, how are you? Oh, I'm a bit overwhelmed, actually. I'm like, standing in my front door with my pyjamas on. I know, in a very oh, yeah. nice outfit, it's let nice, me tell so you. It's nice, at least you got nice pyjamas. This yeah, might come as a shock to you. What's going on? Your daughter's here uh, in the studio with us, and she's told my us daughter? what's... Yeah, your daughter. Hi, Mum, it's Katie. <laughs> <laughs> now, Katie's come in and told us about your struggles, and she wants to read a letter that she's written to you. Eddie, read the letter to your mum. With Mother's Day around the corner, there's no better time than now to reflect on you, mum. As a lady of class, a role model, an inspiration, and a woman who's never given up. Even when it feels the universe is against you. You've been through things that no one should ever have to go through. You always put others' needs before your own. Times you would have preferred to be with us. You're working hard to always keep a roof over our heads, food on the table, and clothes on our back. You never complain, you never ask for help, and you have held your head high through it all. From a young woman who suffered from chronic psoriasis, to opening your heart and home to two unworthy men who broke you down and took advantage of you. Your family, your heart, your trust and your home. To now here we are with the biggest fight of your life against M and D. Through it all you've had you have had and continue to have such admirable determination and strength and never give up attitude even when we know you are hurting. Although you may not hear it enough, and although we aren't always together as a family, we love you and are truly blessed to call you our mum. You deserve the world and so much more, and you will never know how much we appreciate and how proud we are of you, mum. Love, Katie, David, Isabel and Madeline. Katie, that is so beautiful. I don't know what to say. We've got a car out the front. I want you to go into the car out the front because we've got a little gift in the back seat there for you. Oh, my Lord. I want you to uh, just shuffle around there. It's all right, darling. The red car out the front there, if you just open the the back door there and sit down in the car. So pop the door open, Mitch. Now, Mum, uh, just sit in the back seat there. Is the $10,000 there in cash or is it a cheque? What are you talking about? Well, we're giving you $10,000. What? Yeah, Yeah, because uh, we heard you've been left in debt and I said, no, no, that's no good. $10,000 $10,000 we scraped up, and uh, we're going to give that to you to help ease the burden a bit. Oh, my God. Oh, and we also heard that um, the ex's car has been left behind, but it's also got a lot of debt. Yeah. So uh, Jackie and I spoke to some of our friends at uh, MacArthur MG. You might know them there. They're a very respected car group from the Clinton's Motor Group. So you see that new car you're sitting in right now? Oh, my God, it's so nice. It's an MG. Yeah, it's yours. You get to keep that as well. You get to keep that. What a beauty. I've never even seen one of those before. Oh, I just don't know what to say. This is all too much. Oh, this is overwhelming. Look at me sitting here with my head I know. <laughs> it's every girl's worst nightmare. But, uh, let me tell you, MacArthur MG, very good folks. That's yours. Yeah. You get to keep oh. it. And the money. Jackie and Kyle, thank you so much. You're Honestly, very welcome. You're welcome. From the bottom of my heart, like this is just like a dream and, and I, I just can't thank you enough. And all my children, this is just amazing and... Oh, just honestly, I'm just so overwhelmed. I just don't know what to say.
<laughs> and whose baby is that out there? My, yours. What a gorgeous child. I know. Yes. So you're a grandmama now? Yes, I am. That, yes, I am truly blessed, Carl. It re- despite everything that's going on in my life, you know, the day that Madeline was born was just a new beginning. So I am just the luckiest woman on the planet right now. That's right. And, um, Thank you to all of you from the bottom of my heart. You're you welcome. And, uh, Jackie and, and my beautiful children. I love you all. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. This is amazing. <laughs> is this your son? <laughs> this is my lovely son. Get him son. in. Come in the Come front on, seat. David. Come on, David. Get in. <laughs> You've got to be a celebrity for one day. Yeah. Love you so much. <laughs> Oh, so beautiful. The only thing I've ever won in my life was a colouring in competition when I was a little girl in in infant school. So this is just, you know. A step up. And $10,000, don't yeah. forget that. Yeah. I'd like to go on a family holiday. That's what I'd like to do. Yeah. We've never all been together on a holiday. Only when the children were little. So it'd be lovely to just go on a holiday and, and uh, pay the bills first and then go on a little holiday yeah. if I could. Oh. Oh, I just can't believe it. Thank you, my darling. Oh, so overwhelming. You deserve it. Mwah!